across the American heartland, it was a snow day. Plow trucks were out in force in South Bend, Indiana, clearing about eight inches off the roads there. In Kalamazoo, Michigan, dozens of vehicles piled up on Interstate 94. Dean Reynolds has more on all this. For much of the day, a stroll down State Street was an Arctic adventure as the inches piled up and Chicago fought the first big snowfall of the season. Well, it's going to be a beautiful spring and summer. 285 plows were on the move, clearing streets and spreading tons of salt. Some dimwits did donuts in the drifts, but a five to eight inch buildup took much of the fun out of driving. Spin outs were a common sight. The airlines scrubbed more than a thousand flights at O'Hare and Midway airports. Capricia Pertit was in a hurry to go nowhere. I had to push my flight back first, and then the bus was late because <laughs> of the snow, which was okay because we were running late as well. My car was actually stuck in the driveway. And then we got here, and my flight's been delayed about an hour. Chicago closed its public schools. Ditto for Detroit, Milwaukee, most of Iowa, and Nebraska. Mayor Rahm Emanuel. This is more reflective of what we kind of think about when we have in our mind's eye, what does a Chicago winter uh, look like? The wintry blast that befell the Windy City actually stretched from Montana to Michigan, with another couple of snow bands to come this weekend. The National Weather Service cautions that travel will be extremely difficult across the Midwest for several hours even after the snow stops falling, whenever that is. Jeff? Dean Reynolds, who will not be doing donuts on the way home tonight. Dean, thank you very much.